So Jorge, when people approach you and say, I want to become probably a better designer instead of service designer in your context, what is the ultimate tip you give them? Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll talk about my context in particular. The tip I give them, which is kind of cheeky, is I say, learn a second language. And uh, you and I are both communicating in, in English, even though it's not our native language. Um, and I think that people who learn to speak a second language um, are aware of the fact that language is contingent, that uh, it's not uh, like the air we breathe and that it's, you know, it's uh, or like the force that surrounds us and penetrates us. It is, it is malleable. It's a thing that uh, varies and um, different languages have different ways of talking about things uh, and not just in superficial ways, but in fundamental ways. So I think that learning a second language, if, if you don't know one already, is incredibly eye-opening, especially if you're going to be doing things like uh, information architecture. Mm. I can imagine that it adds so much empathy already by learning a second language. Empathy and it uh, gives you agency as well because, like I said, it it makes you realize that you know your language is not. Uh, it, it's almost like you're giving a, a different uh, set of glasses that changes how you understand the world, you know. Mm. And and mm. and in being given a, a separate set of glasses, all of a sudden you realize that glasses are a thing that can be made, and you can change how you how you understand things. Mm. Was this a helpful tip? Let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. And if this is your first time here and you'd like to see more videos that help you to level up your service design skills, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are out.